Howdy guys. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about um, how to deploy um, applications um, such as those used for project three on render. Um, so just to start, we're going to practice deploying a very basic node application. This is the same one that we uh, used or showed in lab the other day. Um, it basically just uh, says that this is my homepage. Um, and yeah, let's see how to deploy it. So if you want to follow, follow along on the slides on Canvas, um, please do so. Um, so first step is I'm going to um, add a new remote repository to this um, local repository. So I'm connecting the two, adding a second uh, remote. And I'm going to go uh, back to GitHub and uh, get this uh, HTTP URL um, from the same place that you would for cloning and add this here. So I've already added this, uh, so it shows um, that it can't do this again. Uh, you shouldn't see this issue. And then uh, I am going to push to my uh, new repository here. OK, so everything's up to date. I'm good to go. Um, so now I'm going to head over to Render. If you have never used Render before, uh, you can make a free account. I just set mine up with my GitHub, but feel free to do whatever. And I'm going to press new and set up a new web service. So I'm going to build and deploy from my Git repository. Um, this is really nice and easy because um, basically as soon as you um, push to the designated branch, um, such as like a prod branch or your main branch, this will automatically deploy it onto render. Um, so this is a little uh, introduction into CICD or continuous integration, continuous deployment. So I'm going to go back and get that URL paste it here, say continue. And then I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be used for my URL, so make sure this is um, appropriate to your project. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to say node demo2. Okay, I'm going to leave all of this the same. Um, instead of this build command, um, I'm using npm as my package manager, so I'm going to say npm install. And my start command is node index.js. This is just what I'm using in my terminal uh, to spin up my project. So this is the start command that you use here. Okay, And as you can see, there's lots of different paid tiers. They can get pretty expensive. So make sure you're just sticking with the free tier. This should be um, enough for the purposes of this class. Okay. So now I'm going to create my web service. And um, this, as it is right now, will not work because I don't have my environment variable set. Um, so as we discussed in lab, uh, it's really important that you don't expose these um, private uh, credentials um, anywhere publicly. Um, so I'm going to keep them all safely in my secret file. So I'm going to copy and paste them um, into here. And this is basically giving render the credentials to access our Postgres database. Okay, I'm going to save the changes. And then I'm going to manually redeploy it. Okay. And this takes a second, uh, so we'll come back to it. Uh, but once it is properly deployed, I'll be able to access it at this link. OK, switching over, um, deployment is a little bit different if you are using something like React, uh, in which you have to run the client and server separately. Uh, so I made a little baby React app uh, to demonstrate to this to you all. Um, the server is very similar uh, to the one we used previously. Um, but I will post the GitHub link if you all want to check it out uh, more in depth. That's what this is here. And then in my client folder, I have my React app. So that is running already. Let's check it out. Um, so yeah, so this is dynamically inputting my name. Um, so this is actually connecting these two um, kind of servers. So. so yeah, so this is where I'm sending my endpoint name. And then if I head over to my React app and app.js, this is where I'm fetching that data. So this is accessing my local um, repository. Okay. So um, now let's do the same thing as before and add in our remote repository for render. So um, that is the command git remote add render and then your URL. Um, and again, for me, this already exists. And then I'm going to uh, push to this repository. 
and everything should be up to date. Maybe not. Okay, everything's up to date. Um, and now I can go ahead with um, hosting my um, server. Uh, so just like in on your local machine, you need to run the client and the server separately. Same for um, when you're deploying. So I'm going to do a very similar process uh, that I did before with setting up a web service. I'm going to build and deploy from my Git repository. I'm going to connect it to oops, the repository that I just showed y'all. I'll name it. Um, I'll give it a name. This is just going to be the name of my uh, demo. And instead of leaving the root directory blank, now I'm going to direct it to this uh, server folder. So your root directory is wherever your index.js and package.json live. Um, so I definitely need to make sure that render is able to find those two files. Um, so my build command, same as before, is npm install. And this is uh, node index.js or whatever your starting file is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create it. And um, this is going to take a second to um, load. So I will show y'all um, one that I made previously, uh, P-R-E-N, that stands for Postgres, Express, React, and Node. Um, so I can show y'all on uh, Postman that this is actually working. So this is now going to be my base URL for all of my API calls. Um, so when I access um, name, this should give me back Leah. Okay. And this actually does connect to your Postgres database. Um, so this is um, access accessing a team members table um, here. So even though I'm not on the Tamu Wi-Fi, it is still accessible. So this should work just fine for y'all's projects. Okay. Um, and now I need to switch over in my React app. I need to uh, direct these endpoints to my new publicly accessible um, server because uh, this local one is not going to be running anymore. Um, so I actually already pushed this um, previously, but um, you would need to push this as well to make sure that this new change is here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and we see this is still deploying, so I'll just keep, keep letting it do its thing. Um, let's now show how to deploy the React side of things. So this is going to be a static site, not a web service. I'm going to point it to the same uh, GitHub repository as before. I'm going to give it um, some, some name that is going to be easily accessible. So this will just be my deployment demo. Right. I'm going to direct it to my client directory. Um, if you, uh, some people like to do these like kind of pern projects as two separate repositories, uh, like a client repository and a server repository. If this is the case, obviously you would just point your two remote repositories separately. Um, but for me, this is going to work just fine. Okay. My build command for this is npm run build. And when I run this in the terminal, um, it creates this um, build, fo build folder uh, that has all the information that render needs to uh, deploy or, or show your website um, on your browser. Um, so that is going to be my build command. And then this is the directory. So right, this is build. Okay, now I'm gonna create my static site. Okay, and this should be the only thing that you need to do to set up uh, the React side of things. Um, not sure if these, okay, this should be deployed now. Okay, um, so, yeah, so if I try to access this, I'll try to access name. This should give me back Leah. So we know this is working. Um, unfortunately, this is not what my uh, React app is actually accessing uh, because I set that up previously. Um, but I uh, tried this earlier. Let's see if this works. Okay, so oh, it's because I changed the repo or the the host name. Okay, so basically this should connect. Hopefully, we'll see it in a little bit, or you can access. Um, my other demo, uh, once it's working or once it's, it's deployed, um, feel free to check out this link. Um, but yeah, that's how you deploy a React app. Thank you.